Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the high-octane world of action cinema as we compare the cast of the iconic film Under Siege from 1992 to where they are now in 2024. Get ready for an explosive journey through time as we explore how the stars of this adrenaline-fueled thriller have evolved over the years. So grab your popcorn, buckle up, and prepare to be transported back to the 90s while we uncover what the cast of Under Siege has been up to in the present day. Stay tuned for a nostalgic trip down memory lane and some surprising updates on your favorite action stars. Let's get started. Tommy Lee Jones as William Stranix. Tommy Lee Jones portrayed William Stranix, a disillusioned former CIA operative who orchestrated the group of terrorists. Upon completing his studies at Harvard in 1969, Jones relocated to New York City to pursue an acting career, marking his Broadway debut in A Patriot for Me the same year, appearing in various supporting roles. In 1970, he secured his inaugural film role, interestingly portraying a Harvard student in Love Story. Eric Sagal, the author of Love Story, revealed that the lead character of Oliver was inspired by aspects of two fellow undergraduates, Jones and Al Gore. Jones was previously wedded to Kate Lardner, the niece of screenwriter and journalist Ring Lardner Jr., from 1971 to 1978. He shares two children from his subsequent marriage to Kimberly Clovely, the offspring of Phil Hardberger, former mayor of San Antonio. On March 19, 2001, he entered his third marriage with Don Laurel. Jones currently resides in Terrell Hills, Texas, a suburban area near downtown San Antonio, and is fluent in Spanish. He possesses a 3,000-acre, 1,200-towers hay cattle ranch in San Saba County, Texas, as well as a ranch close to Van Horn, Texas, which doubled as the setting for his film The Three Burials of Melquiades Estrada. He previously owned an equestrian estate in Wellington, Florida, until its sale in 2019. Gary Busey as Commander Krill Gary Busey portrayed Commander Peter Krill, the unbalanced, unethical executive officer aboard the Missouri who collaborates with Stranix. Busey initiated his entertainment career as a drummer for the rubber band. This heartwarming tale of an underdog resonated strongly with audiences and critics alike, leading to massive critical acclaim and box office success. It also marked the beginning of a long-running film series. Stallone has reprised the role of Rocky Balboa in almost every installment of the franchise, with the exception of Creed III in 2023, which he reportedly stepped away from due to creative differences regarding the film's storyline. Although Stallone took a hiatus from the Rocky series, he remains active in the entertainment industry, starring in various projects. His recent works include Taylor Sheridan's Tulsa King and The Expendables 4. Stallone's extensive filmography and continuous presence in both film and television demonstrate his unwavering dedication to his craft, even at the age of 77. Stallone has been married three times. His first marriage, to Sasha Chak, took place on December 28, 1974, when he was 28 years old. They had two sons, Sage Moonblood Stallone, 1976-2012, who passed away from heart disease at the age of 36, and Sergio, born in 1979, who was diagnosed with autism during childhood. The couple divorced on February 14, 1985. Following his divorce from Zach, Stallone married model and actress Brigitte Nielsen on December 15, 1985, in Beverly Hills, California. Their highly publicized marriage lasted two years before ending in divorce. In May 1997, Stallone tied the knot with Jennifer Flavin. The couple shares three daughters, Sophia, Sistine, and Scarlett. Stallone's daughters were selected to serve as Golden Globe ambassadors at the 74th Golden Globe Awards. After 25 years of marriage, Jennifer Flavin filed for divorce on August 19, 2022, in Palm Beach County Records. However, the couple reconciled on September 23, 2022. Carl Weathers as Apollo Creed. Carl Weathers portrayed Apollo Creed, former world heavyweight champion and a close ally of Rocky. 
Weathers competed in football during his college years as a defensive end. His collegiate journey began in 1966 at Long Beach City College, where a mishap during warm-up practice, resulting in an ankle injury from tripping over a curb, sidelined him for the 1966 season. In 1970, Weathers joined the NFL's Oakland Raiders as an undrafted free agent, transitioning to linebacker. He participated in seven games that season, contributing to the Raiders' AFC West Division victory and their first-ever AFC Championship game appearance. Patrick O'Neill as Captain J.T. Adams Patrick O'Neill portrayed Captain J.T. Adams, the commanding officer of Missouri. O'Neill frequently appeared as a guest star on television over the course of four decades, starting in the 1950s. In the early 1960s, he garnered acclaim for his leading role on Broadway in Tennessee Williams' The Night of the Iguana. Although the starring role in the 1964 film adaptation went to Richard Burton. In 1969, he took on a prominent role in John Huston's The Kremlin Letter and a supporting part in the Western El Condor. He also featured in the 1973 blockbuster The Way We Were. In 1972, he portrayed a murderous architect in an episode of Columbo titled Blueprint for Murder. And in 1978, he appeared as a television network executive in another episode titled Make Me a Perfect Murder. In 1990, he portrayed the corrupt police commissioner Kevin Quinn in Sidney Lumet's Q&A. O'Neill tied the knot with actress Cynthia Baxter in 1956. They were blessed with two sons, Maximilian and Fitzjohn, and remained married until O'Neill's passing. O'Neill passed away on September 9, 1994, due to respiratory failure at St. Vincent's Catholic Medical Center in Manhattan, just 17 days shy of his 67th birthday. At the time of his demise, he was also battling lung cancer and tuberculosis. Tom Wood as Private Nash. Tom Wood portrayed Private Nash, a naive United States Marine. Wood entered the world on April 19, 1963, in Long Beach, California, born to Donna Wood, a finance professional, and Thomas Mills Wood Sr., a variety performer and accountant. Starting from 1988, Wood graced numerous television shows and appeared in more than 10 films, including Ulay's Gold, Apollo 13, Under Siege, and Avalon. He collaborated with a diverse array of film directors, among them, Andrew Davis, Ron Howard, Barry Levinson, Nora Ephron, and Victor Nunez. On the Broadway stage, Wood took center stage alongside Jason Robards and Christopher Plummer in Harold Pinter's No Man's Land, a four-character play, and showcased his talent in off-Broadway productions, often starring alongside acclaimed actors such as Laura Dern, Oliver Platt, and Kyle MacLachlan. Dale Dye as Captain Nick Garza. Dale Dye portrayed Captain Nick Garza, Admiral Bates's consultant, and a Navy SEAL who vouches for Ryback. Dye had aspired to join the U.S. Naval Academy, but after failing the entrance exam three times and depleting his family's limited funds to pursue military education, he enlisted in the U.S. Marines in January 1964. After retiring from the Marine Corps in 1984, Dye established Warriors, Inc. This company specializes in coaching actors for war films to authentically portray their roles and offers expertise in research, planning, staging, and on-set guidance for directors and other film production personnel. Warriors, Inc. stands as the leading military consulting firm in Hollywood. He appeared in the 2010 film Night and Day alongside Tom Cruise and Cameron Diaz and in Larry Crown with Tom Hanks the following year. Dye served as the technical advisor for the 1994 Oliver Stone movie Natural Born Killers, where he made a brief appearance as a fictionalized police lieutenant version of himself. Dye assumed the role of Collier Porter in the TNT science fiction series Falling Skies from 2011 to 2013. By 2015, he was gearing up to direct two films, No Better Place to Die, a project he penned, and Citizen Soldiers, 
Nick Mancuso as Tom Breaker. Nick Mancuso portrayed Tom Breaker, the CIA director and Stranix's former superior. Mancuso commenced his professional journey by gracing stages across Canada, including the Vancouver Playhouse, Neptune Theatre, Centaur Theatre, and Halifax's Pier 1 Experimental Theatre, where he also served as an associate artistic director for a single season. He later engaged with various independent theatre troupes, including the Toronto Free Theatre, Canadian Stage Company, Factory Theatre, and the Theatre Pass Murail. In 1981, Mancuso wedded Lady Patricia Pelham Clinton Hope, born 1949, a progeny of Henry Pelham Clinton Hope, 9th Duke of Newcastle. Their union dissolved in 1983. Subsequently, he entered into matrimony with Canadian actress Barbara Williams before parting ways. In 1998, he tied the knot with his third spouse, Toronto-born actress Nadia Capone with whom he shares one child. As of July 2019, Mancuso resides in Toronto, overseeing a six-week acting workshop. He has also authored a collection of poetry titled Mediterranean Man and produced numerous abstract paintings. Proficient in both English and Italian, Mancuso is conversant in French. In 2011, he underwent quadruple bypass surgery. Long an adherent of vegetarianism and advocate of homeopathy, Mancuso participated in a class-action lawsuit against the Canadian government in 2012 regarding its prohibition of previously available herbs and vitamins dispensed by naturopaths and health food vendors. Bernie Casey as Commander Harris Bernie Casey portrayed Commander Harris, a senior officer aboard the Missouri. Casey excelled as a record-breaking hurdler at Bowling Green State University, contributing to the 1959 football team's triumph in securing a small college national championship. His remarkable athletic prowess earned him All-America honors and propelled him to the finals at the U.S. Olympic trials in 1960. Alongside national accolades, Casey clinched three consecutive Mid-American Conference titles in the high hurdles from 1958 to 1960. Transitioning into acting, Casey debuted in the film Guns of the Magnificent Seven, a sequel to The Magnificent Seven. He subsequently starred alongside a fellow former NFL star Jim Brown in The Crime of Dramas, Tick, 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 and Black Gun. Notably, he assumed a prominent role in the 1972 science fiction television film Gargoyles, and portrayed Tamara Dobson's romantic interest in 1973's Cleopatra Jones. In 1994, Casey made guest appearances in a two-episode story arc in Star Trek, Deep Space Nine as the Maquis leader, Lieutenant Commander Cal Hudson, and in 1995, he guest-starred on both Sequest 2032 as Admiral Van Alden and Babylon 5 as Derek Cranston. Additionally, he co-starred in the 2006 film When I Find the Ocean alongside esteemed actors like Lee Majors. Beyond his acting pursuits, Casey found solace in painting and crafting poetry. Doubleday published Look at the People, a compilation of his paintings and poems, in 1969. He passed away at Cedar sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles on September 19, 2017, following a stroke. Damien Chapa as Tacman. Damien Chapa portrayed Tacman, a sailor serving aboard the Missouri. Chapa hails from a diverse heritage, with Mexican, Italian, German, and Native American roots. Presently, he resides in San Antonio, Texas. Chapa's credits included the portrayal of evangelist Leroy Jenkins in the 2002 film The Kaling. However, his most prominent role is that of Mike Lovelka in Taylor Hackford's Blood in Blood Out. Notably, he depicted Ken Masters in Raul Julia's final cinematic endeavor, Street Fighter, which was based on the popular video game Street Fighter II, The World Warrior. In 2011, Damien Chapa encountered legal troubles when he was apprehended in Madrid and subsequently transferred to a Munich jail to await trial for the alleged rape of his former girlfriend, Roxana Foel. Following seven weeks of wrongful incarceration, 
Chapa was released and vindicated, receiving compensation from the German government in September 2011. Subsequently, Chapa filed a $1.3 million lawsuit against Foel seeking damages. Dennis Lipscomb as Trenton. Lipscomb's debut in feature film occurred with Union City, 1980. Throughout the early 1980s to the 1990s, Lipscomb held pivotal roles in various movies, including Love Child, 1982, War Games, 1983, Eyes of Fire, 1983, The Day After, 1983, A Soldier's Story, 1984, and Crossroads, 1986. Dennis Lipscomb portrayed Trenton, serving as the National Security Advisor. Additionally, Lipscomb undertook a recurring character as the mayor of the fictional town of Sparta, Mississippi, during the inaugural season of In the Heat of the Night, 1988. In recent times, Lipscomb has made guest appearances in television commercials and series, such as WKRP in Cincinnati, T.J. Hooker, and Wise Guy, 1987, CBS, as Sid Royce, Elvis Prim. To a younger audience, he is possibly recognized as DCI Peter Sterling in Spycraft, The Great Game. Andy Romano as Admiral Bates. Andy Romano portrayed Admiral Bates, holding a prominent position within the Joint Chiefs of Staff. Following the financial losses incurred by the Beach Party film series, Romano transitioned to minor television roles and appearances in TV movies throughout much of the 1970s and 1980s. In the latter part of the 1980s, he made a comeback to the film industry, taking on supporting characters while also continuing to make guest appearances on television series such as NYPD Blue. Romano concluded his acting career in the late 1990s and relocated to Washington State. Romano passed away on September 14, 2022, at the age of 86. Troy Evans as Granger Troy Evans portrays Granger, holding the position of Chief Petty Officer aboard the ship. Evans is most notably recognized for his portrayal of desk clerk Francis Frank Martin in the television drama series ER, and more recently for his role as Detective 2 Johnson, Beryl, in Amazon's TV series Bosch. His acting credits also include appearances in Ace Ventura, Pet Detective, Teen Wolf, Cuffs, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, Black Dahlia, Demolition Man, The Frighteners, Tiger Cruise, View from the Top, and Article 99, among others. He lent his voice to the character Thistle Jin in the 2013 animated adventure film Epic. Evans served with the 25th Infantry Division in Vietnam and later landed the role of SFC Bob Pepper in the TV series China Beach which unfolded during the Vietnam War. Steven Siegel as Casey Ryback Steven Siegel portrays Chief Petty Officer Casey Ryback, a former Navy SEAL who currently serves as the cook aboard the Missouri. In 1987, Siegel embarked on his debut film, Above the Law, known as Nico in Europe, under the direction of Andrew Davis. Seagal was approached to star in the film by his former student of Aikido, Agent Michael Ovitz, who believed he had the potential to become a movie star. The film garnered $18,169,631 in the U.S., with Roger Ebert of the Chicago Sun-Times remarking, It contains 50% more plot than it needs, but that allows it room to grow in areas not ordinarily covered in action thrillers. Seagull possesses an extensive collection of swords and had a custom firearm crafted for him on a monthly basis at one point. He owns a residence in the Mandeville Canyon neighborhood of Los Angeles and another in Louisiana. Seagull follows the Buddhist faith, and in February 1997, Lama Penor Rinpoche from Palyul Monastery declared Seagull a tulku, specifically identifying him as the reincarnation of Chungdrag Dorje, a 17th-century Terton, Treisura reveler, of the Nyingma sect, the oldest branch of Tibetan Buddhism. During his time in Japan, Seagal wed his first spouse, Miyako Fujitani, the daughter of an Aikido instructor. Together, they had a son, actor and model Kentaro Seagal, and a daughter, writer and actress Ayako Fujitani. 
Seagal eventually left Miyako to return to the United States, where he embarked on a romantic involvement with actress and model Kelly LeBrock, resulting in Miyako granting him a divorce. Erica Eleniak as Jordan Tate. Erica Eleniak portrays Jordan Tate, a Playboy Playmate model Miss July 89, the same as Eleniak was in real life, who came on board to entertain the ship's personnel and became Ryback's partner. Eleniak graced the pages of the July 1989 issue of Playboy in a photo shoot with a maritime theme. During that same period, she commenced a recurring role in the TV series Charles in Charge as Charles's girlfriend, Stephanie Curtis. Additionally, she secured a role on Baywatch as the leading lady, Shawnee McLean, a character she portrayed from 1989 to 1992. Eleniak also portrayed Carrie, Jesse's, John Stamos, high school sweetheart, in One Last Kiss, the episode of Full House aired on November 16, 1990. Eleniak was once engaged to her Baywatch co-star, Billy Warlock, who had portrayed her romantic interest on the show. She tied the knot with bodybuilder Philip Goglia on May 22, 1998, but their marriage ended in divorce after a mere six months. Following the filming of Snowbound in 2001 in Calgary, Alberta, Eleniak developed a fondness for the city. She embarked on a romantic relationship with Roche Daigle, a K-grip on the set, seeking to avoid the challenges of commuting. Between Los Angeles and Telluride, Colorado, Eleniak decided to settle in Calgary, where Daigle resided. Eventually, the couple exchanged vows. Eleniak conceived in 2005. But six and a half weeks into her pregnancy, she underwent emergency surgery due to an ectopic pregnancy, which tragically ended in a miscarriage. However, Eleniak later became pregnant again and welcomed a daughter into the world. While we reminisce about the past and celebrate the present achievements of these actors, let's not forget the timeless appeal of Under Siege and the impact it continues to have on audiences worldwide. Join us as we look forward to the future endeavors of these remarkable stars and the cinematic legacies they continue to build. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more exciting content.